come and first piece for this evening is the song, Song of Mary. The piece is characterized by long praises from the soloists and solid harmonies from the rest of the choir. The piece also features ostinato lines from the accompaniment. The piece is usually written for female soloists, choir, and piano. The, accompany, uh, the accompaniment is based on an ostinato usually heard and done by guitars. So, Song of Mary is part of the musical written by Werner Ned, Red, and Dragon Kirby in 1973 entitled Celebrate Life. It was one of the musicals performed by the youth choirs that involved music that might have been called rock and roll at that time. So, Lifeway Worship Resources. So, about the composer is the very Red is a conductor, producer, and arranger known worldwide as the musical director of the Century Men and composer of the 1972 classic Celebrate Life died April 1, 2013, and studied at Baylor and Yale Universities. <coughs> so some challenges we encountered while learning the piece is the stubborn breathing for long notes, clean attacks, singing long praises together, sustaining long praises, and being accompaniment with a soloist. So for the pedagogical value, it is Good for practicing ostinato, develop intonation, demonstrate proper breathing technique, develop balanced singing with the choir and soloist, solo singing, part singing, uh, sing the distant part confidently. So for this piece, we use guitar for accompaniment because it is more suited for its form and style of arrangement. It features a very soothing soprano solo in the beginning, which I think will perfectly balance with the guitar.
accommodate workers, especially fisher folks and farmers. Who must go to work early in the morning? Filipinos hold these novena masses in the evening from December 15 to December 23, and in the early mornings from December 16 to December 24. So about the composer, San Pedro was born into a musical household and began his career at a young age. He succeeded his deceased grandfather as the local church organist while still in his late teens. He had already written psalms, hymns, and two entire masses for voices and orchestra at that time. He studies advanced composing with Bernard Wagner of the Netherlands after studying with various notable artists in the Philippines. He also studied harmony and orchestration with Vittorio Giannini and attended Juilliard seminars in 1947. So some challenges we encountered while learning the piece is the sudden tempo and the dynamic changes, the right pronunciation of text, sudden change of mood, and following the dynamics. So for the pedagogical value, it developed confidence precisely, good practicing in singing with the right articulation, developed rhythmic precision, developed singing on sustained high register, good for practicing dynamics. So, as we all know, Simbang Gabi is the one of the most popular Christmas song written by our national artist, Lucio San Pedro. Our rich tradition and culture is showcased in this piece. That is why I chose a win and sum as an accompaniment for this piece to add a festive mood for our performance tonight.
for our third piece for Christmas season. Munting Sanggol. So, Munting Sanggol is characterized by wonderful melodies and tight articulation. It is also emphasized chamber singing or singing in a smaller group within a choir. The piece is composed for male soloists, choir, and orchestra accompaniment. The piece was composed by national artist Ryan Kayabiab in 2005. So, Raymundo Cipriano Fomante Kayabiab, known professionally as Ryan Kayabiab, is a Filipino musician, composer, and conductor. He was the former executive and artistic director of San Miguel Foundation for the Performing Arts. He was named as National Artist of the Philippines for Music in 2018. Mr. C is the most accomplished composer, arranger, and musical director in the Philippines, mu Philippine music industry since this globe beginning 1970s. So some challenges we encountered during learning this piece is either changes, articulation, singing with high note register, maintaining balance with this with balance singing. For the pedagogical value, it is develop solo singing and trio singing. Develop rhythmic precision, good for practicing on high register, part singing, good for practicing rhythm, good for practicing in singing with the right articulation. So just like Simbang Gabi, this has been a standard repertoire during the Christmas season. It also allows our choir to sing a different style which features three male soloists. I also use wind and sap as an accompaniment with percussion.
for the last number for our first part, Amare et Servire. The piece is characterized by a call and response. Call and response from the soloist and the choir. It is a short chant that is then expanded with harmonies from the choir and the accompaniment. The piece is, is a call and response with soloists against the choir or community. It is also accompanied by a piano. So Amare et Servire was composed from the school anthem of the Ateneo de Iloilo Santa Maria Catholic School. It has also been used in the mass celebration as it finds itself in many of the mass albums of the Bukas Palad Ministry. About the composer, Father Madeline Francisco was born into a musical family. His grandmother was the concert pianist Leonardo Ocampo, the first graduate of St. Scholastica's Conservatory of Music, while his uncle Louis Ocampo is a prolific songwriter and one of his first music teacher. He has composed several liturgical music that has been a staple in many celebrations of Filipino communities around the world. So some challenges we encountered in this piece, long praising, following dynamics, balancing the two key parts, modulation, clean attacks of accompaniment, singing pianissimo, and for the pedagogical value, it is learning Latin language, develop solo singing, good for practicing dynamics, praising, and good for practicing clean attacks. So, Amare Sabire is my personal favorite for the for tonight's program. Aside from learning singing in Latin, the message is very inspiring, especially for me, that I think my purpose in life is to love and serve the Lord.
Jesus ng aking buhay. The piece features an unconventional choice in solos. The first solo comes from the bass part and moves throughout the piece to all the voices in the choir. It is also characterized by leaves of six and thirds which give a soothing feel to the music. So, Jesus ng aking buhay is arranged for choir to be sung in a cappella. Jesus ng aking buhay was part of the composer Arnel D.C. Aquino. Album Lods, a release in 2015. So, while at the Sacred Heart, Nemesyate, Father Arnel D.C. Aquino wrote Pagsibol and Dito Ang Araw. And with the Lods series, he started another tradition of Jesuit music for meditation. He studied classical piano for 12 years in Davao City, where he was born. He began studying music in the second grade and was an active member of the Ateneo Student Choir Catholic Action as a teacher, conductor, flute and guitar accompanist. So the challenges we encountered um, staggered breathing, singing in a cappella, changes of key signature, dynamic changes. For the pedagogical value, it is developed intonation, developed legato singing, good for practicing cluster chord, developed part singing, maintaining the correct pitch even in modulated parts, practice long reading for long phrases, good for practicing transition, and good for practicing phrasing. So, this is a very beautiful choral arrangement of Jesus ng aking buhay as one of the most powerful message in this lineup because it tells us how important God is in our lives and for me, it is one of my greatest privilege to serve Him through our ministry.
kakaibigan features of tenor solo against the choir. The melodies create a flowing effect that is supported by the solid harmonies provided by the choir. The piece is arranged for solo tenor and choir. is usually sung during the Lenten season. The piece was composed for the Jesuit Music Ministry by Arnel D.C. Aquino in the year 2000. So the composer is same as Jesus ng aking buhay. For the challenges we encountered while learning the piece, spacing and breathing technique balance on the focus part, modulation part. So for the pedagogical value, it is good for practicing simple singing without ornamentation, develop phrasing, develop intonation, Good for practicing balance singing. Good for practicing singing in modulation. This song implies our deep connection with Jesus. This simple song is special to me because it features my two sons, Francis Johan, solo baritone, and a clarinet obligado by Franz Jensen.
flow to follow the text. The piece is arranged for choir and piano, but the accompaniment can also be arranged for an orchestra or band. Majesty and Glory of Your Name was first released in 1988. The, the piece is usually sung in Easter. Tom Fetke is a composer, arranger, and producer of music and recordings for the church and school. His classic work, The Majesty and Glory of Your Name, is sung by thousands of church and school choirs around the world. For over 50 years, the development of, of relevant, practical, and dynamic choral music has been his passion and his profession. Some challenges we encountered while learning the piece is dynamic changes, high notes, stubborn breathing for long phrases, and phrasing. For pedagogical value, it is good for practicing singing in modulation, good for practicing cluster chord, good for practicing changing time signature, develop stubborn breathing, follow the dynamic markings, good for practicing unison, good for practicing phrasing. So for this piece, I use a small wind and sound for the accompaniment. As a final piece for this lecture, recital, this great musical composition from Song 8 by King David reminds us how great and wonderful of all God's creation and that God is above all of us. The greatest thing of honoring God is to use what He has given. As a conductor of the church choir, one must be ready and aware of planning throughout the season for of the church in order to convey an effective message and idea to the community. So through this recital, also I convey the importance of learning and expanding repertoire in church choirs and hope that other groups in the parish can follow with this style of preparation and teaching. Everyone in the community can be inspired and be confident in their skills and talents. It will be a great experience for everyone in praising the Lord and be more actively involved within the church, not just in singing but in the other activities in the local parish. So through this recital, I can conclude that expanding the liturgical song repertoire of the Pope San Francisco de Malabon will enable them to sing decent and more appropriate song for the whole liturgical calendar and will be an essential part in their training and preparedness in serving the community of church goers in the parish. So without further ado, let's welcome again the Paulo San Francisco Malabon and the Santa Cecilia Wind and Song. Thank you. 